starting a new series on this channel. No zitches. No zitches a lot in this mask. It's going to be a weekly series. It's going to be every Monday. And it's going to be called Music News Mondays. Where I go through and I find news updates pertaining to different genres of music. Probably more focusing around rock and metal. Just because it would be a little weird to just do like pop and country on this channel. And I'll share with you the news updates pertaining to particular events. I want to start this series, which this isn't necessarily the story that I wanted to kick off with, but it was a big thing that happened on February 20th. For those of you who may not know, Disturbed is touring with Avenged Sevenfold right now, and they're over in Germany. And on February 20th, after Avenged Sevenfold got done playing their set, the crew were trying to take down the stage lights and the general theme and performance that comes with Avenged Sevenfold, which if any of you have seen Avenged Sevenfold or know of them, which you probably know, you'll know that their stage setup is pretty grand. There's a lot going on. But there was a stagehand taking down the front lights from the stage, and he fell from essentially the ceiling of this venue. And when he did, he landed on top of a 19-year-old stagehand. The 19-year-old passed away from his injuries. The stagehand that fell was 26 years old, and according to Loudwire, he's still recovering, but is in critical condition. Now, this is something that not many people think about. Touring and traveling and putting on such shows for the crowd is one of the most energetic things that a musician can do. For me personally, whenever I go out on stage, usually I got some pretty bad stage fright for about the first two or three songs. Alcohol helps. But once you're into the show, and once you're coming off the stage, it's the best feeling, the most energetic, empowering feeling that I think a musician can feel. And I can't imagine what it would be like to walk off stage, have that awesome feeling of, you know, just kicked ass out there, and then get told that somebody died taking down the lights for the show. Now, obviously, it's not Avenged Sevenfold's fault. It's, it's nobody's fault that that happened. It's just tragic things happen, and it's important to understand that in a place that brings you immense joy and entertainment, things like this are still a possibility. So it's important to be thankful for the stagehands and for the crew who put on and set up a performance and a concert. I went and watched Shine Down. They were touring with Nothing More and Breaking Benjamin. It was an excellent show. But one thing that really caught my eye was whenever Brent Smith came out on stage, the first thing that he did was stand up at the very front of the stage and pull all of the security guards into the center shook every single one of their hands and said thank you. I was on the front row. It was right in front of me. And it was incredible to see an artist showing appreciation to the people who are protecting them and working for the venue to make sure that everybody has a pleasurable experience. Never lose sight of that. Whenever you're seeing an artist, the artist is the one you know on the top of the totem pole, I guess you could say. But the people who are the infrastructure of the concert, really are the ones who need the thanks and the praise for the entire thing happening. So it's a tragedy that that 19-year-old passed away. As I said, the 26-year-old reportedly is still in critical condition, but it's just a sad thing. And like I said, it's not the story I wanted to kick this off with, but things happen, and not all things about rock and roll or music in general are sex and drugs. And in other news, Seether came out with their first song, reportedly from a new album. I'm really excited about that. They did a Facebook Live video where they just played the new single. It's, in my opinion, incredible. Now, whenever you listen to a new single, you get two different sort of conflicting uh, mentalities with a band that you really enjoy and a new song because your mind hears the new song. It's not familiar with it, so you can't really catch the beat. You can't follow along. It's hard to get hooked onto it. Hence the term, a hook in a song. And then you have the band that you really support, you really enjoy the work that they've done, you become accustomed to the songs that they put out and how their melodies flow. So you have this dichotomy, this duality going on whenever you hear a song. Whenever I heard Seether's song, same thing was happening. I was listening to the verses and I was thinking, you know, this is flowing well, but I'm analyzing it at this point, not necessarily enjoying it. But whenever the chorus came in, Sean Morgan, the singer of Seether, he laid that chorus in great. It has wonderful melody, just the right amount of bite. So I would highly recommend looking it up. If I can find a link to it, I'll put it in the description below. I'm excited for a new Seether album to see where they're going to come at next. Because the thing with Seether is they're always, they've always been this band that hasn't followed the norms. They don't jump into 
the popular thing to do, and that's what I really appreciate about them. They've done some stuff that is off the wall, stuff that whenever you listen to it, you're like, eh, I don't really like it, and then you find yourself two, three, six months, a year down the road hearing that song again, and it has this whole new meaning, this whole new perception. So I'm excited to see what they're going to come out with next. The song was really great. I felt privileged to see it on the Facebook Live, and I highly recommend you look it up too. So with that, there's the first two stories of the Music News Monday. This will be a regular series every Monday. I'll upload a video to let you guys know what I have found in the week prior. So check back, subscribe if you want to see more, and we'll also be doing some live streams of performances. I've got that set up now. That way we can bring more of an experience to those who want to see me sing or want to see the performance aspect of stenosis. So I look forward to that. Thank you guys for tuning into this video. Like I said, subscribe if you want to see more. Don't forget to hit like on the video. That helps out a lot. We'll see you guys soon.